welcome back to One More Pen. Today we're doing something different and we're having a look at the tools to live by Le Shah. So this pen is all black which I know makes it difficult to really see it but we'll have a closer look at it. But um, it's an all black metal pen. The steel nib though is not black like the rest of the pen. Really beautiful piece of writing equipment. There are only two that I'm aware of. We, you have the black version and then there's a white version and I have the black one. So Tools to Live By, not a company that I'm very familiar with. Um, I don't know if there are any other pens or if it's just the two. Maybe I should have researched that a little bit. But um, if you know anything about the company Tools to Live By, let me know what else do they do and you know what other products do they make, if, if any. Or, or is it just the two pens? But this is a really unique pen. I really like it. We will take a much closer look at the pen and I'll ink it up with something. We'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about it. It's not a perfect pen. It has a few flaws, but all in all, I think this is really something that's worthwhile having a closer look at. It's a really wonderful writer and I'll, I'll show you what it writes like uh, in a moment. Okay, let's head over to the paper. All right, let's have a closer look at the tools to live by Le Shah. So like you can see the pen is all black, which I think is very, very sleek. Um, if we have a closer look at it, the clip also just black. It's very springy and I think very functional. It's not too tight. Um, it looks really nice. And on the clip we just have the the name of the pen Le Shah there. And I don't know how visible that is because that's also in black. Nothing at the top of the pen finial. It's just it's just flat and the bottom as well. I think it's it's pretty nice. I like that the pen is not uh, it doesn't have too many things going on. I like this really almost minimalistic look. It's it's a metal pen and you can tell immediately because of the weight of the pen. It's not particularly heavy but it definitely feels very solid and you can feel that it's metal. The one thing I can say about the design or I would say rather the bold quality um, that I think over time will potentially become a problem is that the finish on the pen feels very, it has a very soft feel to it. If you put your nail to it, it feels like it could easily scratch. And I have a feeling like this finish could chip off quite easily. And how visible this is again, I don't know, but I have seen on the end of the barrel there what looks like you know, some paint may have come off there. But anyway, I, I don't really know if that is going to be the case, but it, it feels like that for some reason. The cap goes on pretty tight, as you can tell. And um, it reveals a steel nib. And the steel nib also has a very pleasant surprise. And this is where the name of the pen comes from Le Shah meaning cat and we have a face of a cat on the nib which is very nice. The nib in this case I think is a fine but uh, from writing with it I would say that it's it's not uh, it's probably in between a fine and a medium from my experience looks like brass perhaps and again you know the it's not like the edges of the cap are particularly sharp but I do have a feeling that if you cap and uncap it a lot of time that this is going to scratch the section there and that over time you might see some damage that's just my sense does it cap 
it does not cap at all and again I think it's maybe a good thing because I think that would really scratch the finish on the pen the pen is not small however and I don't I don't need to um, to post it at all for someone with larger hands maybe but I think it's plenty large enough long enough there we have metal on metal there on the threads so no issues and I'm going to be using a simple Zhenhao standard converter to fold this pen so that is just a quick look at the pen itself so to fold this pen now I've had it I've had it inked up with all kinds of black inks and I guess it makes sense that you would put a black ink in a pen like this why would you ink it up with anything else but this time I thought no I, I did want to do something different I, I want to stay with a darker color but I recently got this ink from Pelican and these inks are just lovely Pelican 4001 and this is the dark green it's the first time I'm using this ink so um, I have a feeling that this might be a really good combination so we're going to try it out and see what happens. I don't have a lot of the Pelican inks, but I recently found the this dark green and there's another one, uh, Brilliant Brown. And um, I started to use the Brilliant Brown. It's, it's a very light brown, but I absolutely love it. And these are just the best little tiny bottles of ink it's a 30 ml I do have the larger ones in the blue and the black so I do have the larger 62 milliliter bottle here and you can see so this is quite a chunky bottle it's it's 62 mils it's it's a lot of ink um, and um, but this is really nice I like the, the smaller size bottles I have a feeling that once I finish the ink in the bottle which will take a while this would be just a nice bottle to use for other inks, perhaps. It looks like a lovely dark green. So let's fill the spin up. You might be able to hear the wind in the background. We, uh, well, winter has arrived officially. And so, I'm not going to fill it all the way um, because I think I want to just first see how well this works out. Um, the pelican ink and then the green as well. So let me just wipe this down, get the excess ink of the pin and I can't wait to try this out it's the first time that I'll be using the dark green the pelican I have a green black from diamine which is really nice but I have a feeling this will work well too the pelican inks are really lovely inks so as usual for the writing sample I'll be using my Rodeo dot pad just really great paper so we'll be using that of course I got ink on my fingers because that's the way that I do things apparently so what do we have here this is the Tools to live by Le Chat. and I believe it's a fine. The ink, Pelican 4001, and this would be. dark green
I think that is plenty weight for this pen. I doubt that you would get much of line variation, but we can see, yes, perhaps a little bit. This is a standard steel nib, so it's not going to give you a lot of flex or anything like that. But yes, you can, you can force a little bit of line variation from it. Let's do some more writing. Yeah, so I think this pen keeps up very well with the writing and I think the ink actually matches quite quite well. I think even better than I anticipated. It's, it's a lovely color. There is plenty of shading on uh, with this ink, which I think is quite nice. I think it fits very well with the pen. Um, perhaps a good thing that um, I'm using this ink. I mean, you don't always have to use black ink with a black pen. So, in conclusion, what can I say about this pen? I think that this is a really good quality, good value for money pen. The bold quality is really good. Um, it's a metal pen, so it's, it's very sturdy. It does not post. Um, so, if you like to post your pens, you might not like that. I have a concern about the finish on the pen. It feels like it might not last, but I haven't used the pen that much and I actually really cannot say that. It's just the feeling that I have based on past experiences and um, I could be wrong about that. The pen writes, the nib is really smooth. Um, it has some feedback, which is actually very pleasant. And this is a pen that I think that I could easily use for quite a long writing session because it's very comfortable. Um, I mean the section, there's very little of a step from the section to the barrel. Um, the section is the same finish as the rest of the pen, which is a, a glossed, uh, gloss, I, I guess a lacquer over black paint finish. And it's, it's very comfortable. It's very pleasant. The nib is a very nice touch. I think it's, a, it's quite a unique pen. And I really enjoy it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do uh, consider subscribing to my channel. It will really help me out. And um, what do you think about this pen? Please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Alright, see you again next time. Mm -hmm.